Hey everyone, welcome to Big Geek Channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button and do like my video if you really find this helpful. So in this video, I'll show you how you can take better images, how you can capture really good images with the basic affordable Nokia 3 mobile. It has got Android 7.0 running right now and it is due for an update of Android 8.0 Oreo. It surely will be getting because of this stock Android that they have implemented on this mobile. You also have this ability to capture some really good images because of that manual setting. That is what I'll going, uh, I will show you in this video. So in order to move to the camera quickly, you just uh, slide it over like this and they will be greeted with the camera settings straight away where you can find minimum uh, interface and minimum settings here very minimal uh, not much has been provided by Google and the interface itself is pretty basic uh, but still you can do some things with this mobile so in order to go to that manual setting you have to tap on this and you will get all these different settings where you can customize to your liking uh, but for now I will show you how you can change that auto mode to manual mode. In the capture settings tap on this uh, you will be usually having this automatic set now you have to change that to manual and tap ok and you will also have the ability to put your watermark say you want to put that copyright or name and date then you can tap on this and uh, you can choose the different option you want you can change the size of it you can change the transparency you can also change the alignment of where you want uh, your watermark to be so that's a nice thing nice little touch given by Google where you can uh, set that setting in order to off that just tap on it again you'll uh, switch it off there is also ability to change the shutter sound uh, but you only have uh, off and on so if you don't want to make that uh, shutter click noise then you just tap off otherwise you keep it on uh, you also have this volume key to take picture so directly you can use this as a shutter button volume key you can do that zoom slider that is pinch and zoom where you can zoom the images uh, that's the di digital zoom not optical zoom you also have the geographical location tag suppose you want to say where this picture was taken you can tag that location as well you can change the aspect ratio and resolution inside this setting here make sure you have uh, chosen the maximum available uh, setting over here as you can see it captures at 8 megapixels and the ratio is set to 4 is to 3 if you want to capture wide angle images you can do that by tapping on the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio but the 8 megapixel will be reduced to 6 megapixels so that's the thing you need to keep in mind and regarding video you have this ability of capturing up to 720p no full HD video recording on this uh, mobile so just uh, select the manual setting here once you have uh, tapped on the manual setting you can also use this uh, spirit level uh, where you can see if uh, you are capturing images uh, are aligned to the horizontal or level or not so you can uh, do that as well let's uh, turn this on you can also measure the height and the height tag you can tag at what height at what distance you are capturing the image you also have this uh, uh, setting of uh, compass if you want uh, for example, if you want to tag the location and a bit along with the compass uh, to which direction you have captured, then you can do that. So let's uh, move back and you will see here the manual settings are located right down below. So tapping on this uh, auto will give you the ability to focus differently. For example, if you are capturing uh, really close up images of flowers or something like that, you can tap on this uh, uh, macro here, choose macro for closer moving subjects. So let's see how close this can capture. So it is not getting a proper focus. Okay, I'll tap on it once again. Let's see. Okay, now uh, this is a pretty good shot of a close up. I think uh, the range is pretty nice for this uh, budget phone. Uh, as you can see, the picture, which is uh, uh, not bad, it is quite sharp if you take a look at closely. So this is quite sharper image than what I expected which is nice thing and you can also change that to auto and infinity infinity is uh, typically for landscape pictures you can set that manually and take some really good images then if you want to turn it off just tap on that again it will go and you have this auto white balance setting where you can choose the color accurate colors if you are not getting accurate colors in your images you can change this and see for what colors it appears next is the ISO setting uh, this is the setting where you will uh, probably change when 
depending on kind of scenery you are capturing for example if you want to capture landscape images make sure that it is set to iso 100 or auto that should do pretty well because more the iso number more noise you are going to uh, get in the images so that's the one thing you need to keep in mind the next one is this exposure compensation so for example in indoor situation uh, the lighting is pretty dark and you can use this ev to change it to plus one stop so that you get that extra brightness uh, in the image so that's uh, the exposure value that's how it is used you can tap on zero plus one and plus two there are two stops of exposure value given here so these are the four manual settings that has been given by google for this nokia 3 and it is pretty well implemented for the most part i hope this uh, little video was helpful to you and i uh, hope you take awesome images next time when you go out there so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe hit that like button as well uh, see you all in the next